Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are talking about Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. So we are still in Chapter 12, which is about the gas laws. So, what is Dalton's Law? Well, what it states is that for a mixture of gases in a container, the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of all of the individual gases. So if you think about our air that's surrounding us, our atmosphere, it's made up of all different gases, predominantly nitrogen and oxygen, but there's water vapor and there's a little bit of helium, a little bit of argon. So the pressure that we're feeling from our atmospheric pressure is the sum of all of the partial pressures of all of the gases in our atmosphere. When do we use this? Well, it's particularly useful when we calculate the pressure of gases that are collected over water. So let me show you what that looks like. When you collect gases over water in a laboratory, so let's say I had this Erlenmeyer flask with a reaction going on, and I'm generating, for instance, hydrogen gas. So maybe this is magnesium and acid. I'm generating hydrogen gas, but it's being collected over water. So what happens is the gas comes through here and I bubble it and I use something called a gas collection bottle and that would be collecting it as it bubbles through water. So again, if I had a reaction vessel and hydrogen is being generated and I'm collecting it through water, it is going to have water as part of it. Think about a hot day in August in Philadelphia where there's quite a bit of water vapor in the air. You would be feeling that extra pressure of the water, whereas on a dry day it wouldn't feel as much pressure because you wouldn't have that water vapor. So um, now I thought what we would do is solve a couple of Dalton's Law problems. So Dalton's Law example one. The container holds three gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and helium, and the partial pressures of the three gases are 2 atmosphere, 3, and 4. What is the total pressure inside the container? So let's identify variables. Partial pressure of oxygen is 2, partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 3, partial pressure of helium is 4, and P total is what we're being asked to solve for. So P total is going to be the sum of the partial pressures, so partial pressure of oxygen plus carbon dioxide plus helium. So now let's plug in the numbers. The P total is going to be R2 plus R3 plus R4 atmospheres. So our P total is equal to 9 atms. And again, rules for rounding when it comes to addition, all three numbers had um, measurements to the hundredths place, so we keep it at the hundredths place. Dalton's Law Example 2. Sample of hydrogen is collected over water at 25 degrees C and 645 torr. So this 645 torr is whatever the pressure in the room is on that day. What is the pressure of the dry gas alone? And you can look up the vapor pressure of water in a chart in our textbook, and it'll tell me that at 25 degrees C, the partial pressure of water is 23.8 torr. So now, identifying variables. Partial pressure of hydrogen is what we want. That would be the dry gas. The pressure of water at that temperature is 23.8, and the total pressure in the room is 645. So our P total is equal to the partial pressure of water plus the gas that we collected. So the pressure of the hydrogen is going to be P total minus P water. Again, a little bit of algebra there. So plugging in numbers, the partial pressure of hydrogen is our total, 645, minus our water, which is 23.8. So the pressure of the hydrogen is going to be 621.2. Uh, which will round to 621 torr. Why did I round it? For addition, this number ends at the ones place, this number ends at the tenths place, so we have to round to whichever number has fewer digits to the right of the decimal, so our answer would be 621 torr. These are pretty straightforward. So this is Miss Augustine. I hope this helped. I'm signing off.